Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to construct a basic looking isometric chair design that you can then customize and add your own details to. So the first thing I've done is I've created a nice baseline that I can refer to as well as a consistent 30 degree axis. What I've then done is I've established the height of my chair legs. This is about seven or eight centimeters, it's up to you. You can make up your own measurements as you go along. Now that I've got the height roughly of my chair legs, I'm going to use my set square like so to draw a 30 degree line in either direction, like so. In this video, I'll be going at a pretty steady pace, but please feel free to obviously pause, rewind, go at your own pace in order to complete the design. Cool. Um, you can measure out how wide you would like your chair to be. I'm probably gonna try and keep it uniform, so I might make it eight centimeters wide on the front, and on the side, I might make it about eight centimeters as well. You might make it a little bit wider on the side. In fact, I'm gonna make it nine. From there, I'm gonna line up my set square with my baseline like so, and draw a line directly up in either direction. And we can already see that I haven't drawn my lines long enough for the height of my legs, which is totally fine. I can simply continue the line as long as I line up my set square accurately, like so. Brilliant, so now I have the front of my chair, the side of my chair. The reason why I want that to be a little bit longer is because I have to uh, factor in that it's gonna have a backing, which I'm gonna construct now. I'm simply going to line this back up with my baseline, and I'm gonna continue that line upwards, as high as I need it to go. It's up to you how, what the height will be like. I'm then going to try and draw the back line of my chair here. But as we can see already, it's not gonna go long enough. So what I need to do is I need to build a second baseline. So what I might do is directly where this point is of my chair, I might line up with my set square measurements so I can keep my line nice and straight. And I'm gonna draw a second light baseline across the middle. And you could even add a third later on in the drawing. So now that I've got my second baseline, I can do the lines that I could no, no longer reach with my original. So I'm going to construct where the backing of my chair is going to go and draw a line across like so to construct the top part of my chair. So now we clearly have the front. These are where the front legs will go. This is the side. This is the seating area. And this is where the backing of the seat will actually go. Now that I have that, I'm going to line up like so to draw the remainder of the backing of my chair. Straight up, I'm gonna use my second baseline to hopefully construct the top of my chair, but as we can see, it simply isn't gonna be long enough, so I'm gonna need a third baseline. I'm gonna take this one a little bit up, trying to match it with the corner here, and draw a nice line across. And now I've got three different baselines on my drawing, and that might get a little bit confusing, which is why we often need to work quite light with our gray lead in order to make sure that we can actually see what we're doing. But as we can see, we've got a very, very rough looking chair. We've got one, two, three legs. We've got our backing, we've got our seat area. We probably would need to add a fourth, but depending on how thick we make the features, the visibility of it might not be there. So let's add some details to this chair to make it a little bit more robust, a little bit more uh, alive. So what we need to do is we need to create kind of a frame for our legs. I'm gonna decide that my legs are gonna be about a centimeter wide each. You can decide if you want yours to be a little bit skinnier. So I'm gonna do the same on each side here. One and two. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take those points and draw them directly up. As you can see, lining up my set square with my baseline so I can draw nice vertical lines really consistently as well which is exactly what we want in this isometric drawing. If your lines are a bit wonky at any point, just make sure you rub them out, give it another shot. We don't wanna be inconsistent when we're working with this particular drawing method. We wanna try and take our time and be accurate. Cool, we can kind of see that this front leg definitely looks more three-dimensional. We've got a front side and then we've got the side side. 
we are at the front of this leg and we've got the side of this leg, but we need to show the 3D or the depth of it. So what I'm gonna do, particularly on this leg on the left, is for this second point, I'm gonna line up my set square like so, and draw a little 30 degree line about that long. It doesn't need to be super long, because it's only gonna be a centimetre wide to match the original width of our leg. I'm gonna mark it like I've just done there, and then I'm going to line up my baseline straight up. So now that we've got more 3D looking legs similar to this style, so one, two, we need to do the same on the back, but in the opposite direction. Because of the side use of my set square, I can do my measurement straight away. So I know that's a centimeter. And then I'm gonna line up my set square like so. Straight up. Brilliant. So now I've got three really clear legs. They've got a bit of body to them. The top part or our seat still looking a little bit flat as well as our backing. So we need to add some depth and detail to that. So what I want to do is I simply want to, from this particular center point right there, I'm gonna take it up probably about, I reckon a centimeter in height is good, but if you wanna add like padding, you might do a centimeter and a half. In fact, I am gonna do a centimeter and a half. Cool, so that's one and a half centimeters directly up. And then from there, I'm simply going to extend it across to the right, like so. And I'm gonna do the same towards the left. Making sure always that my set square is sitting on that baseline. And as we can see, we've now got the front part of our chair, we've got the side, we just need to construct the top by using our set square, and I can use my original baseline to do this. Excellent, and then I might even join these two points to show that really clear seat area. Great. So now we have a more clear seating area, but with our line work, it can get a bit messy, so you might take this opportunity to rub out some of those features that can no longer be seen because of the way we've added some 3D form to our design. Cool. So now we have a clear sense of one, two, three legs. We might not be able to see the fourth. We probably could if we tried hard or we wanted to add the detail. Um, but now we need to add the backing and then we're pretty much done with our basic chair. From there, I want to add some depth coming inwards for my chair. I don't want it to go outwards. I want to add some padding coming inwards. So I'm going to line it up with my second baseline that I've got here. And I'm just going to draw a line going in about this far. I probably want the padding to be about, again, in a centimeter and a half thick. So I'm just going to do a little marker. I'm going to line up my set square with my baseline like so. And draw a line straight down until it hits my chair. As we can see, it's hit that there. And then I'm gonna use this second baseline to extend that across. And continuing to build the back part of my chair, the support part. Now yours could be obviously skinnier, could be thicker, depending on what kind of chair style you're creating. If you want a really comfy chair, it might be quite thick or bulbous if you're wanting something more sleek, it could be quite thin and tubular. It's completely depending on the style you're trying to capture. And then we're simply gonna join these two points like so. Brilliant, so now we have the backing of our chair, but again, we need to clean up our workspace like so. We have a very clear looking 3D chair design. Now what you can do here is you can customize it and add some features and even render it. Um, some features that you might wanna add could be armrests, which are quite easy to add. It's all about extending them out and then elongating them. Or you could even add these little cross benches through the sides of your chair and it may end up looking something like this. So your design could end up looking something like this, where we've added nice features like these 
armrests along the side that clearly connect to the existing frame, as well as some nice uh, joints that cross over and connect all our legs. So by adding these details, you can make a really interesting chair design. You could even potentially try and curve some of the features if you want to make it nice and soft looking or a little bit more modern.